hi guys in this video i am going to install kali linux on virtual box in windows 11 let's get started open virtual box manager and then click on new to create a new virtual machine and enter the name of this virtual machine my case okay and then select the type of operating system and then select the version of Linux okay and then click on next select the amount of memory RAM in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine recommended memory size is 1 GB you can increase this size if you have enough RAM okay and then click on next create a virtual hard disk now the recommended size of the hard disk is 8 GB okay now select virtual box disk image choose dynamically allocated or fixed size then click on next ok now choose the file location this is the default file location if you want to change this file location click on this icon and select the directory where you want to store this hard disk ok you can increase the size of hard disk click on create ok now open settings and click on system and ensure that the base memory at least 2 GB if you have enough memory and then click on processor and increase the number of processor if you have enough CPU ok enable PAE NX ok now set the boot order look like this floppy then optical and then hard disk ok and also check in enable IO APIC and hardware clock in UTC time ok and then click on display enable 3D acceleration and then select graphics controller VMS VGA and then maximize the video memory then click on storage and then click on empty under controller IDE ok then click on a this disk icon and choose a disk file that is the Kali Linux ISO file I have already downloaded it in download folder now select and then open this ISO file and click on ok virtual machine is ready to install now click on start button ok now select graphical install and then hit enter choose the language to be used for the installation process select and then continue select your location ok that will be used to set your time zone ok now configure the keyboard 
ओके सिलेक्ट द स्टाइल ऑफ की बोर्ड ले आउट okay now enter the host name for this system you can leave kali as a host name and then click on continue now enter the domain name localhost okay and then click on continue now set up users and passwords enter full name for the new user now enter the username for your account okay choose a password for the new user and re enter the same password click on continue now configure the clock so select your time zone and then click on continue okay in this step select manual and then click on continue okay now select hard disk and then click on continue create a empty partition table on this device select yes and then continue okay select the free space and then click on continue now create a new partition for swap area okay enter the size the size of swap space will be double of the base memory okay in this case the base memory was 2 GB select the type for the new partition as a primary then click on continue location for the new partition end ok now double click on ext4 journaling file system and select swap area then click on continue now click on done setting up the partition and then click on continue now select the free space and then click on continue now create a new partition ok and select the new partition type logical and then click on continue ensure that the file system of this partition is ext4 journaling file system and mount point is root ok and then double click on done setting up the partition ok now finish partitioning and write changes to disk the following partitions are going to be formatted so select yes and then click on continue this will take a while for installing the base system
now select the software to be installed okay desktop environment and then select xfc and collection of tools and the 10 most popular tools and recommended tools and also select genome desktop environment okay then click on continue it may take a long time for selecting and installing software now select the default display manager gdm3 or light dm then click on continue Now installing grab bootloader ok select yes and then click on continue ok now select hard disk and click on continue Okay, finishing the installation. This will take a while. ok installation is complete now boot into your new system click on continue Now click on the username and enter password. That's it. Now enjoy Kali Linux on VirtualBox in Windows 11. Okay. If you like this video, give a like for this video comment and share thank you so much for watching this video